With the rupee under severe pressure, the Reserve Bank of India, in an unprecedented move today, announced a slew of measures to stem the depreciation of the currency. The measures come at a time when analysts have forecast that the rupee, which hit an all-time low of 79.37 against the U.S. dollar on Tuesday, could reach 82 in a matter of three months. Here's more on that story. It is a triple whammy that has impacted the Indian rupee since January this year. Brokerage house Nomura saying the rupee could reach 82 against the dollar by third quarter of 2022. Given such forecasts, the RBI today announced five unprecedented measures to protect the value of the rupee. The measures include Indian companies allowed to borrow $1.5 billion overseas per year versus $750 million earlier. Banks can deploy term deposits held in foreign currency for higher returns. Banks can offer a higher interest rate to attract dollar flows. Further relaxation for foreign portfolio investors to invest in government securities and corporate bonds. Banks can lend in foreign currency to entities for a wider set of end-use purposes. Currency traders believe that rupee will recover tomorrow on back of this move. And almost all of these uh, measures will bring some marginal uh, benefit to the rupee. This announcement, tomorrow I think the rupee will open strongly, probably around the 79 level or something. So quite possible that uh, we may see a rupee backing up uh, the next one or two months towards the 78 and a half or below that level. So what is the impact of a weaker rupee? For starters, the big hit would be through the prices of imported goods going up. India imports over 80% of its crude oil needs and is also one of the largest importers of gold and electronics. As imports become costlier, domestic prices will rise further including petrol, diesel, cooking gas along with other items. A falling rupee also impacts all activities where Indians buy dollars to pay for a variety of things including overseas education, tourism and business travel among others. A weaker rupee can make our exports more competitive globally. But given the worsening economic conditions in major global markets, there may not be silver lining in the dark clouds in the near future. Bureau Report, Business Today Television. Supported by a dramatic fall in oil prices and strength in global peers, the domestic markets closed near the day's high, rising over 1% today. The Sensex rallied 617 points to close at 53,751, while Nifty was up 179 points, closing at 15,990. The Bajaj Twins, HUL, Asian Paints, Maruti, Titan, Kotak Bank and Nestle leading the up move today. Bajaj Finance emerging as the top index winner on posting a healthy Q1 update. On the downside, ONGC, Power Grid, Hindalco, HDFC Life and NTPC, a handful of losers in today's session.